In this video, we'll be cleaning and redecorating my kitchen. Hi guys, welcome to another video. If you're new to this channel, hi, welcome to my little corner. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always tuning back. Please go ahead to hit that like button. It really helps us as creators. Thank you very much. Without wasting your time, let us get straight into the video. We are going to start by clearing out this countertop and cleaning up the whole place. Listen, one of my rule of thumb when styling a space is to clean first, okay? I can't even imagine decorating on a dirty countertop or just dirty environment in general. So we will always clean first. Know that we shouldn't keep I'm going to be using the Sip Kitchen Power and Shine for the mirrors and then the Elbow Grease degreaser for the surfaces. So I'm just going in with the Elbow Grease a little bit on these bottles because they're a bit greasy, not like they're very dirty or something. So I don't want to wash, so I'm just using the Elbow Grease to wipe them down. So sorry guys, I'm kind of down with a little bit of flu, that's why my voice is like this, so please manage my voice as it is. But anyways, I feel like it sounds really sexy, you know? <laughs> For what it's worth, I'll try to change. Okay, Diddy Stripe, I know some of you already know that my meet and greet is coming up on 19th of August 2023. It's my ever first meet and greet. Some of you are already aware, some might not be aware. So yes, it is going to be happening live in London, 19th of August. Yay, it's going to be a very huge event. And if you want to attend, please use the link in my description box to click on that link. And if you want more information for you know about what is actually going to happen at the meet and greet please follow me on instagram i think i've been sharing some details some snippets on my stories and as also on my page okay So I'm going to be moving this dish tray to this side of the sink because it used to be right under that cabinet but it's no longer going to be there. This book stand was gotten from Amazon and I love that it has these two hooks in front where you can actually use to, you know, hook the book when it's open such that you don't have to worry about the book opening and closing. So I'm going to be placing it right underneath this cupboard instead of the dish um, tray that used to be there and then I'm gonna replace it because this way it's easier for me to use the book when I am cooking so functionality matters this vase was gotten from Amazon as well I actually bought it to use as a vase but right now I'm thinking about switching it with the you know the utensil holder I got from Dunem I'm gonna be showing you guys yes this white one I got this white utensil holder but right now I'm thinking maybe I should use the utensil holder as a vase and then the vase as a utensil holder. Let me know in the description box assuming you were meant to make this choice which one would you use as a utensil holder and which one would you use as a vase and also by the time you watch this video to the end let me know if you think I made the right decision. Let's go! <laughs> If you've noticed, I am kind of introducing wood into this space because this girl here is beginning to mature a lot when it comes to interior. And yes, one way I want to introduce wood is by adding this, you know, chopping board in different shapes and sizes. I couldn't help falling in love with this kettle when I saw it on Amazon and I love that it is white and gold. I will be leaving the link for you guys in my description box. Sorry guys, my microphone run down on me so you guys are gonna be managing the audio the way it is but i'm very sure you guys can hear me so i'm moving this from where it was to this corner you guys know that i don't like cluttered space so that is what i'm struggling with right now i still want my very simple modern and classic kitchen so that's what we're gonna achieve you think if they said it then they must be 
this is a wax burner i also got this from amazon i love that you can place your candle in here and place it in and drop the wax inside and it's just very aesthetic honestly <laughs> it's just very aesthetic i just love how it came and then the fact that it has this little green and gold thing going on on top of it you guys i don't know that's just why i bought it so i'm just trying to describe to you guys why i bought it so i'm gonna place it on the hand soap and dish soap tray because every time i finish cooking i always bring up my wax burner but i want it to be here like very handy such that it will always be a reminder for me to just you know replace a candle and burn my wax whenever i finish cooking <laughs> So you guys know I just have I just buy flowers and mix them up to create you know this gorgeous stuff. This is supposed to be the utensil holder that I converted into a flower vase. The yellow thing I added here is just to tie in the yellow thing going on in the living room, okay, and the dining. So I just took a bit of the yellow flowers to spread across, just adding that touch of yellow into the space. love the way it looks it has just added color to the space <laughs> this is also a tray i got from amazon i'm also going to be linking it for you guys so i'm gonna use it right here to get in my very gorgeous verse guys i spray painted this verse i don't know if i have the clip of this verse but i basically used stone paint i'm gonna be linking the stone paint for you in the description box so that you can buy this verse from tk max i think in one of my tk max videos i showed you guys some transparent verses you know and i just saw the shape and i liked the shape and i was like you know what i'm not gonna spend 60 pounds to buy this type of verse because that's what it actually cost so i decided to spray paint to give it texture it is so beautiful and we have saved money so that is how you can decorate on a budget we're gonna create a bouquet of flower with this here are you guys excited i've got the olive leaves here so i'm going to start with the olive ones i'm just going to layer them by the corner so because they're so long i have to bend the stem okay so just to achieve the same height these olive these olive leaves were gotten from tk max in case you are wondering where i got this ones from they are from tk max and i will look for them and see if i can link them for you guys but if not, you can check your nearest TK Maxx. So you should feel it. So I think that you need it. Others' opinions to know how you feel it. To know if you lose it. How gorgeous is this? Let me know what you guys think about this lovely mass of beautiful flowers you can buy different flowers from different shops and just come home and create your own unique bouquet you don't have to create what you've seen in other people's homes that's what makes your home very unique so when you just go to tk max or you go to the range or you go to Genem, if you see those very lovely flowers as long as you love them you can just buy them bring them home you never know what you can create with them so that's basically what i do and now we've got our beautiful handmade gorgeous verse and just to add a little bit of spring why am i still calling it spring a little bit of summer vibe because this is summer this is summer guys i'm very late to the party but anyway spring summer all are the same so just add a little bit of summer vibes i'm gonna be adding this towels those that i got from i think tk max as well i just love the whole yellow and green thing going on here that's actually why i got it anyway so i'm gonna be replacing them here just take a look as you guys already know this is a part of my kitchen so if i'm decorating my kitchen i never ever ignore this part because i mean this is an accent wall in my kitchen so we're going to go ahead to decorate it first of all i'm going to wipe it clean as usual and then we will go ahead to decorate it it 
it's all clean so let's go ahead to style i'm going to be going in with this gorgeous two-in-one vase i got from h&m i used it to style my living room some time ago and now it has left my living room so we're going to use it right here and i always preach to you guys about containing your mess in a tray if you must have more than one item think about incorporating a tray except you don't have a tray but it always keeps that space looking clean and tidy and i'm going to go in with this this diffuser i got from jenna it smells really amazing oh my god if you come to my kitchen if you come to my kitchen we don't want to own a kitchen where people come in and it's food 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 yes it's allowed it's okay for your kitchen to smell like food when you have cooked but always target always strive to you know get rid of that smell as soon as possible especially because it spreads around the house so that is where candles diffusers wax melts they all come in so please try to incorporate this into your space it's very very important we don't want to come to your house or well, i don't want to visit your house and your house is smelling like fish yes didi said it <laughs> I think this candle was also gotten from Jenem. It smells really amazing. It says cashmere and sea breeze. We have finished decorating this kitchen. We have absolutely transformed this kitchen and I cannot wait to share with you guys the present look. Before we do that, please go ahead to smash that like button and subscribe. I'm gonna take you guys back to the way this kitchen looked like before we started, and then I'm gonna show you guys the review. Let me know what is your favorite thing in this video, and let me know what you'll be incorporating into your space. So the essence of this kitchen makeover is just to incorporate a little bit of color, a little bit of life, a little bit of wood, a little bit of, in fact, just to change the present look with what we have in the house. I actually got some new items which I'm going to be linking for you guys in the description box. Listen, you cannot be following me, you cannot be subscribed to my channel and you're living in a very boring house. No, we don't do boring this, <laughs> we don't do boring this 2023. So Didi is here to help you. We transform people's houses for them. We decorate people's houses for them. If you ever require my services, my email is always in my description box so send me an email and we can take it up from there meanwhile i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and i hope you enjoy the final look of my new kitchen okay uh, i'm really excited seriously because i feel like the kitchen has a different look right now so please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video stay fabulous bye to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in You, I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me Stronger with you And the days don't work out